welcome to Home Eats. I'm Angela. I've got Heather with me here as well. Hi. Um, and today we're going to be doing a series of cooking videos and we're going to show you how you can recreate popular home delivery dishes at home. So there are a few reasons why we're doing this. Uh, of course, we all know that cooking food at home is healthier and cheaper but also particularly at the moment, buying our food locally is a really good way that we can support small businesses in our local community as we come out of, uh, well, you know, as we go through COVID-19. So, um, you know, going to our local greengrocer or going to the markets or going to the butcher um, is often less busy than going to the supermarket. So there's less people around. And as long as we're practicing those good social distancing measures, um, proper hand hygiene and things like that. Obviously, if we're unwell, we do need to stay at home, but if we can get out, uh, it's a good way for us to still stay connected to the community uh, while supporting those local businesses. Heather's found the top nine home delivery meals of 2019, uh, which we recreated in new recipes. These are all available on our website, and today I'm going to show you how to cook five of these recipes. So basically we're going to do healthier um, and cheaper versions of those. So I'm not going to use a whole lot of ingredients, so we're going to keep it nice and simple. Uh, not everyone has access to a big kitchen, so everything that we cook today will be able to be made in a small space. Everything will be able to be made on the fry pan as well. As we go through, we'll talk a little bit about nutrition. We'll talk about some good ways that you can save money while you're shopping. Um, and things like minimising wastage and things like that as well. Um, and it's also good to, you know, uh, we're using some of the same ingredients across a few dishes as well. So to minimise wastage and make those meals go further. So uh, the first dish that we are going to do uh, is an egg dish. Uh, so eggs were the, the eighth most popular dish that was ordered last year. So basically I'm going to do a shakshuka, which is a uh, baked egg dish, which is a Middle Eastern style. So tomato, bean, and some vegetables braised uh, and cooked with eggs as well. So let's get on to prepping the ingredients. I'm just heating up my olive oil in the pan. Once that's hot, we're going to add the onions and cook that for about five minutes until they're soft. Now we can add our capsicum, a couple of cloves of garlic, and cook that for another four or five minutes. So, and what other veg could you use in this dish? Uh, you could chop up some sweet potato um, and pop that in with the onion. Uh, you could do zucchini, uh, even cauliflower. What about sugar. spinach leaves? Yeah, spinach would be good. Um, spinach is good uh, because you really only buy what you need as well, so you're not having a lot of leftover wastage. So I always like to chuck a bit of spinach through things like this. All right, let that keep cooking. And we add our spices, about a teaspoon each of cumin and paprika, but you can really add whatever spices uh, that you like into this. So chili would be nice, ground coriander, whatever you've got on hand. And it's always important to add your spices to a, a dry pan and that way you get much more flavour out of them as well. Now we'll add our tomato paste, just half a tablespoon. Tomato paste is good to use because it gives it a, a much richer flavour um, and makes it sort of taste like you've been cooking it for a really long time, which is good when we're you know, only cooking it for about 10 or 15 minutes here. And we're going to pop our tomatoes and our beans in and we'll bring that to a boil and then drop it down to a simmer.
Then for the eggs, what we need to do is just make a couple of little wells in the dish. So I'm just going to turn that down a little bit as well. Crack that gently into there. Don't worry if you break the yolk or anything, it doesn't really matter. Pop that in there like that. And then same with the other one. Then we just pop the lid on and that'll cook for about eight to 10 minutes or you know until the eggs are cooked to however you like them. Okay, so these are done. I'll just take the lid off, season the eggs with a little bit of salt and pepper. And because I've got some parsley here, I'm just gonna rip off some parsley, kind of sprinkle that over the top. If you've got any feta on hand, you could use that, uh, or you could dollop some yogurt on, whatever you like. And that's it. Great, so Heather, should we have a quick taste? Yeah, I'd love to. Okay, so let's have a taste. I've just popped some flatbread on the side to have with that as well. So this would comfortably serve a couple of people, um, but it could also mm. easily feed, you know, you could double it if you were feeding a family or things like that as well. Um, and how much did we work this out <clears throat> to cost? This would probably cost $2.55 per person. Yeah. So it's really great value. It was really easy to make. It's about half an hour from start to finish. Um, yeah, so that's it. Thank you. No worries. Um, for the next video, we'll be doing um, a version of a steak, um, but we're going to do a vegetarian version, and I'll show you how to make a cauliflower steak that's really beautiful um, and full of flavour, and we're going to serve that with a little herb sauce on the side as well. Thanks for tuning in and we'll see you next time.